What's up my Ponyos? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content. Here's the title suggests. You've asked it. We're going to go over it. Journey has a whole line of genuine leather hide that uh, honestly is really, really amazing. Now, this is not a sponsored video. They did not reach out to me. This is a product that I purchased with my own money that we'll be reviewing here for all of the, the iPhone 14 products, except for the Plus. So make sure that you check up above or down below for those videos. Specifically, the title suggests that we're going to be going over the 14 Pro Max. So you guys can see that and uh, you guys can check it out. We're going to go ahead and unbox it, show you what you get, as well as dem demonstration and uh, a slight comparison here. But I do have a separate comparison video that you guys can check out um, up above in the cards. With that said, let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing and demonstration. Like I said here, uh, I'm going to be sporting the 14 Pro Max. Right now, I've got the Horween leather from the folks at Nomad. Now, this is an amazing leather hide that is sourced from a company in Chicago that honestly is one of the best. Uh, like over 100 years of experience. Nonetheless, Journey is really throwing their hat in the game, which provides you almost a comparable hide at a fraction of the price. Granted, this is still pretty expensive, but not compared to the Horween, you're saving about 25, 30 bucks here. With that said, let's go ahead and uh, move that aside uh, and show you here. What's really nice is this does darken and patina over time. It is a sourced leather that's high quality and they've been doing it since 63. And uh, I'm pretty excited. Let's jump into this. Unboxing is very simple. It's made out of a product that can be recycled, so make sure you do that. Nonetheless, there it is. Oh, wow. This is the second time that that's occurred. Uh, right when I pull it out of the box, I can smell the hide. It smells and looks really good. It's definitely going to, you know, be a sponge for fingerprints. As you can see, I generally have, you know, more oily hands. And uh, as this goes on in time, it'll darken up. The patina will look beautiful and it will give you an awesome vibe as you pull it out and use it on the daily. Wow, a little bit darker here. It is kind of a, a rusty brown as opposed to, you know, that town tanned brown leather from the Horween. Um, but look at that. I mean, it's very rigid. You've got a nice seam here that is glued right up against the polycarbonate material. I don't think it's TPC because it's a little more, it's a little less rigid, at least on the edge here. It's not as thick. It's uh, not as, I guess... It's, it's more uniform than what I'm, I'm used to on some of these other leather cases, but uh, nonetheless, you do have the uh, metallic buttons here, This the volume rocker, which is nice. I think those are aluminum. Have it there as well on the power button. Showing you the I.O. here as far as the speaker grill and I don't know. Yeah. Backside here, I'm really impressed. I really like what they do here with the microfiber um, inlay on, on, on the back, uh, it does have a springiness to it and it is softer in my opinion than the, uh, the Nomad. Nomad generally has a back that feels more of like a cork feel. It's a lot, you know, thicker um, and it's not as soft and I, uh, I actually appreciate that. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to a journey at this time. Just as a slight difference, you can see, I'm going to try to get the glare here on the same. Very much a rustic brown, a rusty brown. This is a lighter hide. You can tell the difference is there. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, let's place it into the device. Very straightforward. First impression here is it's, it's much, much uh, thinner around the bezel. Uh, compared to the Horman leather case, they have a little more robust, thicker polycarbonate. This is nice. I like it. It's probably maybe a sixteenth of an inch, so it gives you about an eighth of an inch, not so much of a quarter of an inch as the Nomad does. Nice and clicky here. Journey does a great job implementing that metal button in there, and I like how it, it's got a nice little shimmer. You have the ability to switch on the Do Not Disturb. Power button still clicky. Backside here is your I.O. I like that. Turning it over to the camera, showing you what that looks like. Oh, I love it. The dark 
tone of the camera module goes really well with that rustic brown. It just feels like it, it, it belongs. I really like that. You do have the protection as it protrudes up. It's plastic material. And it, again, their careful, you know, care and detail is really, really seen as you get closer in as it's glued in there without any issue. Impressive. I like it. You do have the same kind of a build here. It's different than the Apple leather case. This does wrap around slightly and it gets glued into the seam, like I said. But more or less, that's pretty straightforward. That's it. It's gonna show you a couple of these MagSafe products that it can connect with. This is from uh, the folks at Merpiso. They, this is a three in one. So if you have your Apple watch, you can put your AirPods as well. Just place it on the back there. There it goes. It holds on to it. You got about two pounds of that magnetic pressure on there. Looks really good. You can throw on a MagSafe battery pack. This is from Anchor. This is their newest 621. This is a 5,000 milliamp supercharged 7.5 watts. It looks great. Very, very thin. It even uh, supports the Apple wallet, if that's something that you're interested in, as well as the Apple MagSafe. I wish they had a different color on the Apple MagSafe, to be honest. Looks just fine. Apple wallet. Place it right on the back. Ooh, that looks good. I like that. The blue on the brown. Not bad. It's really, really cool. Really sleek. All right, my ponyos, well, that about does it here. Thank you so much for watching this content here all the way to the very end. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to do a more in-depth comparison of, of the leathers. I think I'm going to do the Horween leather, the Apple leather, as well as the Journey. So make sure you uh, hit that like button, hit the notification, subscribe uh, for all that content. This is very sleek, very affordable. I think I think this is my new, my new favorite. A new favorite leather. Ah, oh, there's so many to choose from. With that said, guys, this is my own review. This was purchased by myself. I did not um, get a sponsor here. I reached out to Journey, but they didn't respond. And I think regardless, uh, this review needs to be out there. This is a good product. I like it. It really isn't anything else uh, to say, even negative. Uh, like I said, guys, down below in the links in the description of the product pricing and availability. Please help out the channel. It would be appreciated. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys. See ya.